Carter the Great, Charles Joseph Carter, born in 1874. He died in 1936. And I believe that uh, in his day, he was the most widely traveled illusionist of anybody working. As early as 1905, he was performing a trick called the spirit wrapping hand, or as he called it, the astral hand. Now, just a couple years ago, I was fortunate to be able to acquire the original hand that Carter used. This is it. It's a beautiful piece of work, actually. I know a little bit about it. It was carved just over 100 years ago by a man in Pasadena, California, by the name of Floyd Thayer. Here, take that in your own hands. Be careful, it's pretty delicate, okay? For the next 30 years, Carter traveled all around the world, amazing audiences with the psychic abilities of this hand. I can tell you that the last time this hand appeared on stage was in Bombay, India, in 1936. But well, we're about to find out if a 70-year layoff has diminished its psychic <laughs> abilities. Now, as special as this hand is, everything else in this experiment is quite ordinary. All the apparatus that you see up here is used to merely isolate the hand from any outside influence. By perching the hand up on this sheet of glass, we are going to be able to see above and below it around each side at all times. Now I said that this was a psychic hand, and it's true. And this hand is going to be answering a few of your questions. Yes or no questions about your own future. So get a question in mind. In the meantime, let me demonstrate how it works. First of all, astral hand, are you ready to demonstrate your abilities for these people? That's right. You see, one tap means yes, two taps mean no. Uh, tell us, is this Wednesday? Yes, it is. And of course, it's New Year's Eve, isn't it? No, it isn't. That's right. Now, the skeptics in the audience are saying, well, a clever parlor trick, perhaps, but hardly proof of a mind-reading hand. So we'll try another experiment. But this time, we will have the answer to a question that only one person in this room knows. Let me see. Uh, this lady right here, you can stay right there if you like. I want you to think of a number between 1 and 10, a one-digit number. And I'm going to give you this little tablet and this pen. Two hands for beginners, okay? That's good. <laughs> Very good. And I don't want anyone around to peek and see what she's writing. And I'm certainly not going to write. Write on that little tablet. Just write the number that you and you alone are thinking of. When you've done that, close up the tablet so that no one can see what you've written. Fair enough? Have you done that? Good. I will take... <coughs> Oh, okay. <coughs> We're just going to close it up like that. Good enough? I'll take the pen, and I'm going to cap up the pen just like this. Now, a bit of information that only one person in this room knows what it is. And uh, I think that's interesting. Now, this demonstration is going to be performed under scientific conditions. Laboratory conditions. And what I mean by that is, this time... The hand is going to be trapped underneath a glass dome. That way it will be completely sealed off from any outside influence. Fair enough? Astral hand, if you can hear me underneath that dome, I want you to tap out the number that the lady is thinking of. One, two, three, four... Five. Five. She hesitated. Did you notice that? She tapped twice and hesitated, and then tapped three more times. I'm not sure what that means. What was the number you wrote down? Five. It was five? It was five indeed. Right there. She was right after all. Don't go by me. Go by the astral hand. Well, now the skeptics are thinking. I know. Obviously, this lady travels around the country with this guy, and her job every night is to write five in the tablet. A method that I would be all in favor of, but if you knew what we were being paid here at the Magic Castle, you'd know that paying an assistant would be even more difficult than finding a library hand. So we will attempt one other experiment, uh, and this time it will be a, answer a series of questions that nobody knows the answer to. Uh, could you help me out? Good. For this experiment, we use a pack of cards. It's important that everybody realize this is a pack of 52 different playing cards. 
And what I'd like you to do as I spread the cards out is to just touch the corner of any one of those cards. I don't want to influence you in any way. Just touch one. Oh, okay, right here. Now here's where it gets a little different. You're not going to look at that card. Nobody's going to look at that card. I want you to pull that card out of the deck without looking, put it into a convenient pocket, okay? Now this is interesting. Now there's a little question at hand here, and nobody here knows what the answer to those questions are, right? Astral hand. Is the card in this gentleman's pocket a black card? Yes, it is. All right, that means it was a club or a spade. Is the card the gentleman holding a spade? No. All right, it was a club. If you would, I'd like you to tap out the value of the card that the gentleman has selected. seven taps. So am I to believe that the card you've decided on is the seven of clubs? Yes. For the first time, sir, would you remove the card from your pocket? Let's see how well she did tonight, huh? What have you got there? Ladies and gentlemen, the seven. know for a fact that what people are really interested in are answers to their own future. So, who has a question that they would like to have answered by the astral hand? Just if you put your hand up in the air so that I can see where you're at. Uh, is that a hand right over there? Yes. Uh, should I marry this guy or not? <laughs> Don't ask me. Ask the astral hand. The question has been posed. Wait a minute. I'd like to see which guy. This guy? Well, I can answer that question. No, no. You get the opinion of an expert. Astral Hand, she would like to know if she should marry this guy. Yes! I hope you have many happy years together. It's official. All right? Is there another question? Somebody over on this side. Quickly, a question about your own future. Don't be shy. You're among friends. Who has a... Uh, I don't mean to twist your arm. To tell you the truth, I have a question that I've been uh, dying to... Oh, did you have one quickly? Uh, sure. Okay, what is it? Well, I live past 65. Well, you live past 65. My God, I pray that we don't get the bad news here. The lady, the lady would like to know if she's going to live past 65. This is serious. Many happy days of return. I can't believe it. I'm thrilled to hear that. You know, there's a question I've been dying to ask this hand all week. Um, you see, every year here at the Magic Castle, they give an award to the top magician that appears in the Palace of Mystery. Astral Hand, after, after 30 years of trying, will this finally be my year? Yes, she says! <laughs> Uh, you have answered all of our questions tonight. Uh, you have done so well. Is there anything that I can do in return for you? Of course, it's customary to tip the mind-reading hand right there. Ladies and gentlemen, it's part of the greats, Astral Hand.